Technology Advisors series of getting the most out of your CRM investment. Today we're joined by the team from Colonize, so I will pass it over to the CEO of Colonize, Blake Robertson. Thank you. All right, so is my, uh, I guess I have to share my screen here. Share my screen. All right. So can everyone uh, see my screen now? Hello? Yeah, we're, we're good to go. Cool. Okay, so uh, thanks for the introduction, Colin. I am the uh, the CEO of Colonus. Um, I'm joined here with uh, one of my good friends and coworkers, Sean Pinnegar. Good morning. And uh, so today we're going to talk a little about Colonize, which is a solution for bridging your phone and your CRM together. Uh, I'm going to do a very, very uh, brief intro into Colonize, um, then move right into like a live demo, um, and then go on to Q&A. So please, uh, you know, start sending in some questions. Um, you know, I'm, I'm an engineer at heart, so I don't, I don't like to talk for lengthy, lengthy, lengthy periods of time at once. So <laughs> please, let's keep this interactive. Um, so let's start first talk about just the kind of sort of the promise of CRM. Like the reason we're all using CRM is to provide a complete view of our customers. You know, um, we want all of our interactions logged in a system. Um, we want to improve the collaboration between departments, the support, sales, and marketing. Um, we want to have more efficient sales and support workflows. And management really cares about getting some better business intelligence so we can optimize all these processes. So that's the reason we use CRM. But the, uh, the problem today is that some things, in particular phone calls, have to be put into the CRM manually. As a result, we're always telling our reps things like, um, if it's not in, in uh, sure CRM, it, it never happened. You know, things like that to try and enforce uh, use of the system so they are putting this data in so we can get all those great benefits of collaboration and workflows and business intelligence. Um, so that's really kind of the piece that we saw was a big problem. I was actually uh, kind of got started in this. I was sort of my own customer. Um, several several years ago, I was a sugar serum customer at my previous company, Alertus, and uh, we, I found that the systems out there, I wanted to bridge my phone and my CRM because I, I didn't want my salespeople wasting a lot of time logging calls. I wanted them to make more calls, but I also wanted that intelligence. I wanted the benefits of the CRM. So when we looked at the solutions that were out there on the market, we found that they were very, very, uh, you know, they were designed for call centers. They were very, very complicated to deploy. They were very, very expensive. Um, and it required PC-only desktop software. Um, so it really just didn't fit the current kind of world that, that my company was in, and I think that most companies are in these days, um, more, of a, more of a mobile workforce. So um, that was sort of our mission. We wanted to make this, this key piece of technology kind of simple so that anyone could adopt it, not just call centers anymore, just any small, medium, or large businesses, um, make, it this, make this sort of simple to, to use and uh, operate. Um, the other key thing was switching systems. People don't want to switch their phone system. They don't want to switch their CRM, um, and Colonize does that. We've, we've developed technology which will hook into pretty much every phone system under the sun and uh, seven different CRMs to kind of bridge these two systems very simply and easily. Um, in addition to that, we, we really focus a lot on the usability of our product, making it very, very easy to use and intuitive, something people like to use. And uh, we, we price this at a, at a price point which most businesses can afford. A few of a uh, little background on us, uh, we have a good long uh, list of customers, Sugar CRM actually uses our product internally now, um, so the, all their reps are using it. Uh, we've Intercontinental Hotel Group, uh, is a recent customer of ours who came on board, um, Spa World Corporation, CPR, my career. So I mean, a lot of these, they have different use cases. Some of them are, are, are primarily support, some are primarily outbound sales, um, but all of them benefit from this type of technology which bridges our phone and our CRM. So without further ado, um, let's, get, let's get to the, the demo. Um, so for the demo, I'm actually going to start off just kind of, this is going to highlight one of the kind of the really interesting features of Colonize. Um, like most salespeople, uh, I might be spend a fair amount of my day prospecting on LinkedIn. And uh, I want you to kind of see on the lower right hand corner in a minute, I'm, about to, I'm calling myself with, the, um, with my cell phone. And uh, just a little piece of housekeeping, my phone for today's demo is a soft phone, meaning it's a, it's a phone that's on my computer. 
Um, but you don't have to use a soft phone. If you have an existing desk phone on your desk, that's fine. We don't, we don't force you to change what you're currently using necessarily. So, um, okay, so here I'm going to initiate the call. Okay. So we see here we are on LinkedIn. We're getting an incoming call. Go ahead and take the call. Let me mute this. I'm going to hang up there so we don't get feedback. And here we have a pop-up from Blake Robertson. We know he's from Colonize. Um, we see all this great information about him. All this data is coming from our CRM system. I'm not even in the CRM system, and the CRM is at my fingertips. So we see him from Colonize. We see he's a lead. Um, I can see his our entire activity history with him. Okay, so here we learned a tip of information about Blake. His wife's name is Ashley. Um, so we might use this to kind of help build and strengthen that relationship, kind of build a, uh, you know, personal relationship there. So all of our data pulled right from the CRM will show up right down here. If I want to load Blake's uh, CRM record, I simply click on his name. Another tab will launch and bring me into Sugar. So this is where we'll get to see all of those different um, custom fields that your business might have or any other kind of processes that you, that you have. Um, and similarly, we auto also automatically detected his social media feeds. So if I wanted to see his Twitter page, I could click here, I'll launch another tab, um, and show me you know, what he's been tweeting about, again, to help build that, that personal relationship for that customer, which is really going to help you close more deals. Um, so here we learned, you know, Blake's a Ravens fan. You know, that's a great thing if you ever uh, call me it's to bring up. I like to talk about the Baltimore Ravens. So um, I think you kind of got the, the point there. And so here we are. Here's the record. So I pulled up from Sugar. So we can see all, all my details, any kind of activity history we have um, is all available right there. Um, so but while we're on the call, we're going to want to, let's say we, let's say for this call, uh, Blake called in and um, he's interested. We see from this note he's interested in buying more widgets, but he's pending some uh, boss approval. So I might say, hey, I was just thinking about you. How's Ashley? Um, what, what happened with your boss? And he's, he'll be impressed that we remembered the, him and um, we can immediately get to business. Um, but during that call, say we learned some new, new piece of information. Um, so let's say uh, IT has the question now. Um, and uh, boss wants to negotiate price or something. I don't know. Whatever, whatever it is that happens on the call, you simply type your notes in right here. Um, and every call generally has some type of action item. Right? So we need to follow up with Blake in the future. So, so that we don't forget about him, we might just want to type something like follow up tomorrow. And you'll, you'll see what happened here is just by simply typing follow up tomorrow, an indicator showed up right here telling me that uh, this task will be created for me next week, or excuse me, tomorrow. So I will now be reminded to call Blake in Sugar tomorrow. So I won't forget about Blake and I spend less time thinking about who I need to call on a daily basis, kind of enforcing a, a good workflow. Um, also from this same page, if a lot of times we see what happens on a call, there'll be some type of uh, action item which you need to bring in a, bring in a, a colleague on. Well, what people traditionally do is they launch their email client, they send up, they write up a long email with a bunch of great notes, and then all that data doesn't get captured in the CRM. To fix that, we have a, a feature we call at mention syntax. So you simply would write up your notes, that same email you're already going to send to your to your uh, colleague. Do an at sign. Here's all of the CRM users. Simply click Blake, and now Blake is going to get an email sent to him with all these notes as well. So that's really kind of uh, a streamline that entire process. So let me go ahead and click Save here. And uh, I'm going to now refresh this, this tab. And we'll see that those notes are now magically uh, in the CRM for us. So here it is. That was the note I just typed. IT has a question now. Uh, boss wants to negotiate. Logged right here with the duration. Um, and everything. And then here's that task that we also created. So I'll be reminded um, in the future. So that was that was an inbound case. So how about an outbound case? Uh, so many of you are, are probably more outbound oriented. You want to make more calls per day. To do that, we've made every phone number click clickable. So we see right here I'm hovering over Blake's phone number. It says call with colonize. So I'm just going to simply click on that phone number. I didn't have to now pick up my uh, I didn't pick up my headset, fumble, like going from the screen to my phone. I simply click on the phone number and I'm connected to Blake. 
And then here's those notes from before. Um, so here's IT as a question now, et cetera, et cetera. So all in here, all those notes once again. Um, now, if I don't log any, any notes for this call, let's say I don't enter any information, that information is still going to get captured. So I'm going to actually now refresh this page once again. And we'll see that we're going to have another record in here just that says simply outbound call. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. So the point here is every call is captured, whether or not you're at your desk, calls coming into your system, it's going to be put in here and related to that person. So even though I didn't add a note, I still at least know that I talked to him on this date. Um, so to provide more of a, uh, an activity history, um, so you can kind of keep track of things like how many calls does it take to convert a lead to an opportunity. Um, it's important to have that type of data logged so that that kind of analysis can be done, and we make that happen. Um, another common use case we see is you'll get a web to lead form come in on your website. Um, one rep will call them, forget to log the call, and then someone else in your company is, is calling them as well. And then so like they're both calling them, and they're, it's kind of an awkward situation because someone else already did call them. or Maybe actually more, more, more frequently what happens is you get a web to lead form, um, someone didn't log the call, other people just assume it's been an hour since that, that form's been up or maybe it's been a day. People assume that someone has already gotten back to them. They just didn't actually log that note. This kind of makes that completely transparent. Like you know that every call is logged here and that you know, just makes it completely clear that that, that, that person does need to be called. Uh, da, da, da. So let's see. Um, one other just neat thing I want to just point out. So here, like I just want to just put some notes in here. You can see that every tab, this this note is actually synchronized. So this makes it, you know, we're not hunting around. So if we if we're, if we're as we're on the call, maybe we open up the the customer's web page. We're learning more about them. We can just start typing notes in here and just kind of pick up on any browser tab. Um, that really helps uh, when you make it that easy for somebody. Uh, they're way more likely to enter notes. So you're going to see a lot more great data going into your system. So that's inbound, that's outbound. Let's see. Oh, last last use case I want to show is sort of the uh, sort of the email use case. So um, a lot of times we'll get a call, we'll get an email just like this. So we you know we got approval from his boss and he's asking us to give him a call. So we can simply click on his phone number from Gmail. And we're gonna now pull up his CRM record automatically. So like that—that's just the entire process. So just while the phone is ringing, I can be reading, pulling up his activity history, automatically going to his page, um, streamlining that entire process. Let's say in this case we didn't reach Blake, so um, we might want to send him an email saying that we uh, left a voicemail for him. We can help you with that too. Simply click here. Send the left the voicemail button, your mail client will launch, and you can just click send. So um, that makes that, that process very, very easy. So that's sort of how the end user kind of uses our system. Uh, I want to kind of now uh, shift to kind of some of the business intelligence aspects of it. Um, so I'm going to go over to our dashboard here. So here we have um, sort of just some call analytics. We start at the top. We have a leaderboard providing some gamification. So we see that Blake's made the most quality connections, which are kind of more demos. Um, and Sean's kind of, kind of, kind of, you know, dominating the rest of the leaderboard. He's made the most, uh, entered the most call notes, most minutes, and Mr. Dependable here. So kudos, Sean. Um, so right here, we're displaying this sort of to kind of. We're really trying to play on that competitive nature, you know. So we're showing people on a leaderboard, and here we're kind of ranking them in terms of the number of calls they made. Um, I can also switch to sort of like an hourly view. And this, this is actually really kind of uh, interesting data here. So what we're looking at here is the calls that we made. And this line right here is the connect rate. So here we've, we've determined that from 11 to 12, we're, we're connecting on 69% of the calls. That means someone is actually answering our calls at that point. So what this data tells us, as you, know, as you use this for about a month, you get this great data, you can start to see some trends. You can see it, well, you'll see that certain time periods, maybe it's 4 to 5, maybe it's 11 to 12 in our case, or uh, 9 to 10, um, depending on your business, where, when it's the best time to call. So this sort of transforms your entire workflow. So rather than, than doing your, your, your webinars during those times or, or your, your scheduled demos, you schedule those outside of that time window. Um, so that you know, your calls are more productive and, and you have more conversations. Um, but then we see this, this graph is actually one of the most popular, uh, especially with sugars, that they look at 
certain things. They can see how many calls were made per day, uh, the amount of time were spent on the call, how many notes were entered, um, all this great data. And so you can see, not so much with this particular organization, um, but there'll be organizations which will have like a lot of, some will have less calls, but they'll have more long calls. And that, depending on your organization, may be way more valuable. So when you get into a one-on-one -on -one situation where your, your director of sales sits down with your sales rep, you can kind of look at that and kind of discuss that. Um, are you not getting people engaged on the phone? Are you not reaching decision makers? Um, those types of things, that kind of coaching to help train your reps and, and improve their performance. Um, you can drill down on each one of these users so you can, to see even more detail. Um, this basic entire page would refresh and show you that information. Um, down here, I think this is this is really kind of uh, exciting data. So you, I mean, you, some phone systems they have call reports, so you can kind of get that data. But now we're kind of um, bringing in the CRM context. So um, I'm going to skip down here to the sales call stats. Here we're looking at since created. This gives us some some indication of the uh, maturity of the people that we're talking to. So we see we have a pretty good, healthy pipeline of uh, some less than a week and some less than a year. Here we have lead status. This is kind of really important so that we can actually look at our pipeline. So if, if our reps are only calling deals which are close to be closing, we know that in like three months we're, our pipeline is going to be suffering. So this gives us that at a glance look that we're seeing that we're not only building, we're building out that pipeline. Um, and then similarly, it's related types that we're seeing we're calling leads and opportunities, all kind of pipeline analysis. Um, and then from a marketing perspective, we can see where our calls are coming from. So here we see that. Uh, so for us, 47% of our calls are coming from um, the lead source of the, our website. 20% uh, are coming from great partners like Tech Advisors here. And 10% uh, are coming from app exchanges. So this, this really helps the, the marketing team kind of identify the quality of, of those campaigns to see if, if they're actually generating calls and people are calling in. Um, similar is, is by industry. And uh, over here is kind of matches per call. So this, this is really an indicator of is, is how, many, how many of these contacts are actually in the CRM. So here we see that 12.3% of our calls are to people that are not in the CRM. So this could be us calling our wives or um, people that just shouldn't be there. And so when you're really drilling down into individual user, you can kind of see some insight. So if you see one of your reps is making 80% of their calls to people that aren't in the CRM, we know that they're not entering their data. Um, so maybe they're being competitive and they're just, they don't want to put it in the, in, in the system or, or for whatever reason, that kind of information kind of can be revealed in your in your one-on-one -on -one. So when you sit down. Um, so I actually, let me show you one other kind of neat feature and then I'm going to kind of open it up for Q&A. Um, I'm going to do a call here to like sort of a number that is not in our CRM. So um, let me see here that we made a call and this user is not in our CRM. So it says no match found and it's just sim simply enter this person's name. So okay, let's do that. This was Bob Smith. I hit enter and we're prompted that we want to create a new lead, a new contact, or in this case we've actually found duplicates. So we actually already have a Bob Smith in our system um, who's a contact but he doesn't have this phone number linked. So here, rather than creating a new contact, I can simply select Bob Smith and this phone number is going to be added to his contact. Or I could create a new one and it'll do that. So here I click to create a new lead. Automatically we're launching the CRM and it's going to go right to that, that view. So we've made it really, really easy to get this data in. So you'll see a lot more contacts being created uh, once, once you uh, are using Colonize. So, um, so you see, see it's loading. Uh, I'm go back to our presentation here. It's kind of so the things that we kind of demonstrated here is, is number one for outbound organizations. You're going to make approximately 30% more calls. This is this is data we've actually seen from our customers using our product. That's a combination of eliminating the manual dialing. You're doing click to dial, then. Adding notes is incredibly easy. You're not wasting 90 seconds trying to find the particular record in your, in your, in your uh, database. Then we've streamlined the actor call um, action items. So we, we've created the, uh, the uh, email to our, to our uh, colleagues. We've helped you um, create your follow-up tasks so you don't have to remember when to call this person in the future, which is, which is a really big time saver. And um, things like the email templates, simply sending a quick email to say, 
that you left a voicemail or send a quick introduction. We've streamlined that entire process and help you make 30% more calls. But not only that, we're going to help you build better relationships on those calls. So for, for my example, we know Blake's a Ravens fan, we knew his wife's name. That's going to help uh, really get, get that person talking, build a better relationship, which is going to ultimately close more deals. We're also going to capture more relevant information. We've made it super easy to add information to your system. So any browser tab simply can add notes to a call. When you make it that easy, people do it. Um, that's just, it's just human nature, right? Uh, CRM adoption. So this is sort of, this was a really big thing for, for my organization at least, is people aren't always logged into the CRM, or if they are, it's still, it's hard. We're making this uh, a tool for all that data that they're putting into the system immediately helps them when they need it most, when they get a phone call. So we're eliminating all of that, you know, asking about the weather things just to simply delay to try and find that record in the CRM. So it really turns this into a tool that really helps people become successful. Uh, and finally, managers get data-driven, become data-driven about your phone calls. I mean, we, we track everything, like, these days, uh, or, or websites, you name it. Like, if you're not data-driven, you're not going to uh, be a successful company soon. But phone calls have always been sort of a, you know, understood as that's something that's just really hard to track, and, and we don't. And so we make that possible so you can really kind of optimize your marketing campaigns and really kind of improve your one-on-one -on -one and, your, and your coaching with your actual reps. Um, my last slide here is just, <laughs> will this work for you? Chances are yes. So we, we support seven CRMs to date, uh, Sugar being um, Sugar and Salesforce being our, our probably premier ones. Um, we have thir thirty plus other phone systems. Basically, if your phone system is VoIP, we've developed some technology which allows us to tie into your system, and so that's really the key. So what Colin says is the company we, we figured out how to make this a simple process, not something that only call centers can do anymore. So um, Sean, is there anything else I I kind of I missed? No, not really. Uh, one thing I'd like to add is earlier we were looking at a slide and it said, you know, they're not just for call centers anymore. And I, I got an interesting call the other day that really spoke to that. Uh, we're really calling in and he said, hey, I know what pizza is going to come from a previously ordered. A use case I'd never, ever thought of. Uh, and it, it made me start thinking about it. And I'm thinking back to when I used to go to because I walked in, they knew exactly what they wanted, and they, they knew my sandwich. You're breaking up, bro. Well, he's breaking up, but he's, he's describing a time when he would call in and quiz and he wanted a special sandwich, and I don't know, something like that. You know, uh, but no, it, it's a great point. Like, the pizza use case is perfect, right? You call your pizza joint, you know, you, you tell them what pizza you order, and you imagine just calling them and them saying to you right away, like, Hey Blake, uh, do you want the, that meat lover special again? And my answer would be yes, and they know where I am, and just everything about it. I mean, that's really that's really what what a fanatical customer experience is all about. And so, yeah, I think it's just really cool, just the different use cases that this this product could be used for. So, um, I, I mean, I have some other things I could talk about. I could show you how easy it is to set up. I could show you how you can do click to on list views. I could talk about a roadmap. But I'd really like to hear from from the audience what 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 they're kind of interested in seeing and what they like to hear about. Um, there was a couple questions that came through. Uh, the first one was, how did it show that your wife's name was Ashley? So that was entered previously. So um, so th sort of you think about that as you're on your call, like little tidbits of information will be brought up. Maybe, maybe for example, like example on our website we have is uh, I was talking to someone before and they had to leave and they had to go to like a, a Little League game. You know, like you just write that stuff down, and then the next time you get a call, you're like, "Oh, how'd the little league game go?" Or and like, you know, he'll tell you the story about his son hitting his first home run or something. And so it's 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 entered by you. Um, but we also had the, the Twitter and the Facebook and the, and the LinkedIn, so you could also look at the, those pages and to kind of get a sense of what that person's interests are and and try and spark up a conversation about it. Try and find that thing you guys haven't haven't uh, find in common. Uh, the next question was about uh, general pricing of the product. General pricing of the product. So right now, uh, our product is a, about a $120 per user per year or $10 per user per month. Um, that price is is sort of will be going up in the near future. So I I would strongly encourage you guys to get in touch with uh, with tech advisors and kind of kind of lock in that rate. But um, that's the pricing to date. Certain phone systems do have a setup fee. So the more enterprisey ones, like the more um, like the Avaya's and the Cisco's, we do have some type of setup fee. 
uh, generally it's in the one to four thousand dollar bar ballpark. Um, we will waive that based on quantity. So just get in, get in touch with uh, tech advisors, so we can we can discuss that more. Uh, there are some other questions about a, f a couple different systems that we don't support. Uh, so I'd just like to throw out there that uh, we do support certain different CRM systems right now. And if there is one that you don't see on the list that interests you, uh, we basically look at them. Um, you know, basically what what's our customers asking for, and looking at that helps us decide where things fall on the roadmap. Uh, so outside of that, if you could put in a, a request to us, or just we'd be happy to get them you and this uh, for these other systems. So this is the uh, integrations book we kind of have. So this is kind of more like more or less all of the different integrations we have right now. It's it's not completely exhaustive, but um, there are some other solutions we have that are listed on the phone side. These are the, the seven CRMs we have. Uh, we're looking at Microsoft Dynamics pretty soon. Zendesk is definitely on the pipeline. Um, one called Bullhorn. Um, so yeah, but we're, we're very customer driven. So based on customer demand is when we add those particular CRMs. Are there any more questions, Sean? Uh, yes, there's a, there's a few coming in here. Uh, we've had a, a couple about N4 CRM. Uh, and is picking up a lot of traction and uh, I think it's going to be one of the, the next systems we integrate here. So I don't have a time frame right now, uh, but I'd be more than happy to follow up with more detail um, in probably in the next week or so. It's Enforce, huh? Enforce CRM. That uh, previously was SalesLogix. Or... Oh, okay, cool. Yes. So that's a problem tech advisors is very, very familiar with. So we're working with them on figuring out uh, when we're going to support the system. Um, again, it's, it's all based on need, and uh, we've been getting quite a few requests, so that's, that's something we're talking about. We just don't have a firm date at the moment. And that, that's... I think I got through the rest of the questions here. Um, I just want to find some probably to you guys, so um, make sure to look at those answers and type back to you. Um. Cool. Uh, well, let's do other questions. Uh, I just kind of want to show you how easy it is to set up the system. Um, your feedback. And so, okay, so here we are on the users page, and this shows us kind of all the users we have. Essentially what happens is you, you sign up, you basically link your different systems, you put in your phone system, you put in your CRM um, credentials, so to speak. We then, on that organization page, so the CRM page, for example, very, very easy. Put in your sugar CRM name, username, password, your URL, click save, and you're done. Uh, we have help videos throughout the product to help you get, get set up. Um, obviously, we have support as well. Uh, on the users tab, so once you've entered your, your CRM and your phone system, it's very easy. You basically click this import button right up here. This will load all of your users that are in your CRM system. And then it's just a matter of linking the extensions from your actual phone system. So if I wanted to add like extension to Julie, you simply click here. And this is sort of a list of people that like uh, extensions that we've auto detected over time. So this is really how we link. Like so a phone call comes in on a given extension or a phone line. This is how we're relating that to the uh, to the CRM user in the system. So that every call that comes in on my extension 1171 automatically gets assigned to me in the CRM. Um, in terms of user onboarding, uh, with these aren't checked, simply, basically, this is a button. Uh, initially, it'll be like a little mail icon. You click a mail icon, it goes to the user, it gives them a link, and all they do is they click the link, um, it prompts them to install this, uh, this Chrome extension, and, and they're up and running. And so it's really easy to get, get your team onboard. So. All righty. Uh, one other question came up on is the door data exportable? Uh, one other question came up on is the door data exportable? Uh, beautiful thing about this extension. Okay, so the question was, is the data exportable? Uh, so we are, okay, so the data that we have here, this is a sort of our analytics dashboard. Um, this is just we kind of keep track of some metadata for, um, displaying it in a kind of convenient format. 
but all the data that we're getting, we're still putting into your CRM. So there's still a call logged for every single call. So you still have that data in, in a format in your CRM. Uh, another thing is each one of these things can be, so I'm going to just try and take a guess here and see if I can remember the URL, but it's like national chart. Um, I don't know. There's a, there's a support article, but essentially each one of these little charts down here can also be embedded into a dashlet that will show up in Sugar, like on, the, on your home page. So um, this doesn't have to be like, don't think of this as like a separate system you have to log into. It's um, just a system here, and we provide kind of a convenient format for you. Um, it's actually really easy to get to this too as well. So you can kind of click on, um, this is our, our extension icon here. We can see your call, call history. Um, simply the reps click all call history and you're essentially just, you'll go right to this page. I'd like to add to that in that the cars and calls are logged in the CRM, so it does allow you to manipulate a lot of the data the same way as you already do contacts, accounts, et cetera, and do reports and embedded dashlets and sugar and the whole bit. Cool. We got to get you a better mic, man. I don't know. Crazy. Um. Yes, currently it is a Chrome extension only. Um, Chrome extension is very little, there's no maintenance at all, so it automatically updates itself. It's once you click this one button, it installs and it'll run. Um, there are some certain CRMs we might have a tighter integration with, like, uh, for example, Zoho and, and, and Salesforce that we are considering doing a more um, tightly coupled integration, which would, would work in other phone systems as well. Awesome. All righty. Well, um, Colin, did you have any kind of closing remarks then? Yeah, we just wanted to uh, thank you again for joining us today, and uh, thank you to all the attendees. You will be receiving a recording of this presentation uh, in your email, so look for that either later this afternoon or tomorrow in case you wanted to sh uh, review anything or share that with coworkers. So thank you again to Blake and Sean for joining us, and uh, hopefully we'll see you for our presentation next month. Great. Thank you again, Colin. It was a pleasure. Thank you, everybody.